Katie Kenzie here and today we are doing a Jeffree Star lip swatch video. We both have our pink boxes with us. Um, so yeah, we're going to be doing the holiday collection alongside the highlighter palettes. We both have them. I got the 24 karat one. And I got the platinum ice one. So we're going to be swatching these for you guys. Um, I am actually wearing both of us are wearing up some of it on our eyes and also on our face mm -hmm. so yeah you are seeing it already on mm -hmm. our bodies so we have used it it's not kind of like a first impressions some of the lipsticks will be first impressions yes yeah, some I've of used, them i've used only two of them three times. okay i have used two of the lipsticks so um but yeah so let's i'm gonna taylor already has hers out of the box i do not so this is what the boxes look like they came in kind of a holographic kind of a box which is stunning um but honestly um th what's really absolutely stunning is the the actual packaging um and i don't think i don't even know if you'll be able to tell like but anything i've seen this i've seen pictures i've seen videos of this it just does not it does not do it justice no. like opening these like opening these the first time i was just like these are seriously the most gorgeous packaging I've ever seen, like, of anything ever. Not just of Jeffrey's. Um, I think of any brand I've ever seen. It is so stunning. Minus, I have to say, the Fenty Beauty, they're her pointed ones. Yeah, I do like the pointed. But I just, fabulous. I think, though, with the glitter, like, I've never seen a glitter packaging done so well. So there are eight total shades, and we're going to start with the lightest shade. Um, so we're going to be starting with um, the shade Christmas Cookies. Um, which is like a nude. I have worn this shade before. I don't know That's if you have Okay, so you've all worn these. Okay. Mm. You're still doing your top yep. lip. Ooh. So. I'm, like, looking at it. I need to look good. No, it's fine. Yeah, I know. Like, how different it looks. It pulls more pinky on me. It pulls a little bit more purple on you. Mm-hmm. I think. Um, I really, I really do enjoy this shade. I do, too. I think it's, like, a very, like, for me especially, it's a My Lips but Better kind of a color. And I think I said that about Calabasas in the Summer Collection. But this one, that one's a little bit warmer. And I'm sorry, I don't, I will actually do some swatches and I'll put them in here. So, I mean, this really isn't similar to a lot of Jeffree's nudes. It's not, no. I can't, like, it does not even remotely look like doll parts. Doll parts is so damn pink. Mm -mm. Calabasas is a lot warmer toned, a little bit more, like. Well, and I just, I don't, I don't have anything that looks like this. I don't either. I really his, don't. No. I don't really even have anything, like other lipstick line that looks like yeah, this either. Yeah, neither do I. It's just a nice pink. I think it would look good on a lot of different skin tones if you are darker, if you are lighter. It's a good, it's a good shade. So yeah, that is called um, Christmas Cookies. Christmas. You say why, why? Tell them that it's human nature. Why, oh why? Um, anyways, we are doing Human Nature next, which would probably be the next darkish shade. Mm -hmm. Um, It's kind of a brownish purpley toned kind of a color. This does remind me so much of Family Jewels. It's a little bit lighter. Because I wear Family Jewels a lot. And I think it's a little lighter. Um, so this is human nature. Um, for me, it's... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's... Okay, it does not look good with my eye look. With, with Taylor's look, it definitely... Now that it's like dried down and it's on me, it doesn't really remind me of Human Nature. It's so much I mean, more purple toned. I mean, Family Jewels, this is Human Nature. Um, this family is Jewels so is much, brown. it's much more brown, which I will put, again, a swatch comparison in. Um, I think this is what I was more so thinking, like, because I know androgyny is very different, but I think yeah. this is what I was thinking androgyny was going to dry down to, is more of this. I will also, So yeah. I'm living for this moment, because Christmas cookies and, you know, Human Nature, I wear Family Jewels, like, that's like... Those colors are what I'm living for right now. So, like, those two are totally going to get a lot of use yeah. from me. So, this one is um, Human Nature. The next color that we are going to go in with is called First Class. This is the gold shade. Neither one of us have tried this on. This one I'm in. I'm scared. 
No, I am <laughs> incredibly excited about this one. I'm okay. nervous for this one. First since class. I, Let's go. This was the one that I saw this. Oh, God. Um, I saw. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. I'm, I'm alive. Um, oh, this is so good. First impression so far, I'm going to need two coats. Yeah. You feeling the same thing? Yeah. My pink is shown through. Super hardcore, my pink is shown through. It's not as pigmented. That is. I mean, I got it to work pretty good. I still feel like I'm seeing my lip color through it. Yeah, I can see it a little bit. But, I mean, otherwise, it's really good. This looks sick. I'm I'm in love with this. It's fun. I don't know. I will have to try this one another time with a different eye look to see what my full opinion of it. But, I mean, like I said... It does take two coats. Yeah, it does take about two-ish coats to get it completely I still opaque. feel like I could go for another one. I, I've worn poinsettia, as he says. It's poinsettia. Poinsettia! Jeffrey, Jeffrey, you know I love you. You know I love you more than life itself. But I think it's poinsettia. It is poinsettia. But if you pronounce it poinsettia, it's okay. It's cute. I love this one. I love this, love, love, love this one. This is the first I one I tried. On. So... Got a little bit out there. <clears throat> oh God! Woo! Ooh, this is so smooth. Mm -hmm. This formula is so smooth. Okay, this color. I'm sorry. This color is stunning. This is a holiday lip lip. Oh, lip, lip. this is a holiday lip lip lip. This is a <laughs> holiday lip color. Yeah, this is stunning. Like I think Christmas, and I'm like, yeah, I'm loving. Yeah, it looks really really good on you too. I love it. It's, yeah. There's, okay, first off, though, My I cannot express to you how smooth this formula is. It is so smooth. Here's one thing that I have to say. I have tried other metallic li liquid lips. Specifically, I've tried Ofra's, Ofra's, however you want to pronounce it. Ofra. And, I don't know. There's just something about Jeffrey's, like, metallic lips that are so well done. Their formula is just so good. Like, this one's a little fucky, but that's okay. So yeah, so this is poinsettia, or just for Jeffrey, poinsettia. <laughs> Love you so much, Jeffrey. You know this. I kind of have a fun story time for you guys. Um, so I was just sitting on Twitter one night, and uh, I was tweeting, and uh, Jeffrey uh, Star, the 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 glorious Jeffrey Star, um, was tweeting, and he was like, "I want to snatch some wigs tonight," and so I uh. I tweeted him, like kind of a shot in the dark, and I said, hey Jeffrey, snatch my wig and complete my velour liquid lipstick collection. And he, he like actually did it. Um, and it was the most amazing thing of my entire life. And I haven't really I got my package and it was incredible and I was I'm beyond blessed because the amount of lipsticks that he sent me was crazy and he was so sweet when he was DMing me and I cannot thank him enough but like if Jeffrey if you ever see this video like holy shit thank you like so much you mean the world to me and like obviously I'm a huge fan of your makeup and stuff and like it was like the greatest day of my life and thank you so much and yeah so she like recorded the whole thing when I was like freaking out it was seriously it was awesome. like it was so amazing, and, like, I love Jeffrey to, like, the moon and back, and when people, like, badmouth him, it just, like, breaks my heart, because, like, he does such amazing things for, like, his fans and, like, the people who support him, so, like, I love Jeffrey, and I'm probably, I don't give a shit if you hate him or not, like, I love him, and he's a really great person, so, fuck the haters. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, moving on to the next swatches. Okay, so there's two lipsticks that are very, very similar in this collection. Um, one is called Berries on Ice, the other is called Santa Baby. Now, I have worn Berries on Ice, mm -hmm. Taylor, or no, I've worn Sa Santa Baby, mm -hmm. Taylor has worn Berries on Ice. So, for the sake of this, and to show side by side that they're, like, they're different, Taylor's gonna put on Santa Baby, and I'm gonna be putting on Berries on Ice. Oh yeah, I see the difference already. These are not even close. By the way, in the bottle, they look super similar, but, like, as I'm swatching and looking, they're totally different colors. Okay. Yours is so much pinkier, and mine is so purple. Just so you can see us, look at the difference. So this is definitely more of, like, a berry, a berry tone. Mm -hmm. To me, this is much more purpley. 
this is very much so like this a is more red pinky red pinky kind of a of a deep a, of berry moment uh, like yeah this, this is like two opposite berry moments yeah like this is a red pinky berry moment and this, and is, this like is like a purple. purple berry moment yeah this is very much so very purple based this is very pinky based but okay. I I really like it though this collection out of all the collections he's released I think has been the one that I've been living for the most except for the first Christmas collection when the first Christmas that one, collection that one is still so is my favorite still first Christmas collection is gold I love all of it of all of Jeffrey's collections and all of you guys have like probably known that like I've been really impressed with all of the collections that he's brought out but honestly like um with what with what I've swatched so far I know like he really did up his game here he you know the packaging, the the colors are incredible. The formulas are beautiful. So so far, I mean, yeah. they're really they're they're it's a stunning collection. So I far. Did, I I just I love it. So she's wearing Santa Baby, and I am wearing Berries on Ice. So there we go. All right, we're gonna do Medusa next, which is kind of like a honestly like I would call it like a steel steel I, blue yeah. kind of gray. You know, it pulls more gray on you. It pulls more blue on me. Um, it might that also might be that I'm wearing a blue shirt though that has a kind of blue tone in it. Um, but. I think that's what makes this gray so successful is that it does pull more, it pulls more blue and it doesn't pull so, so gray. The tube, it looks like it's going to pull kind of an ugly gray. No offense. Like, it doesn't look like it's going to pull so nice gray. Like I said. And it pulls so beautifully and it's it's really stunning. I guess the full test will be once I wear it throughout the course of the day. Yeah, Because like really I said, up. the other one I had, I literally was like, it was on and off really fast and it made me so sad. And I don't even think the gray color can be as good as, as, good as what this one is. Yeah. Okay, the last color we're doing, which is the color that Jeffrey first uh, was uh, previewed. Mermaid, yeah, Mermaid Tears. Mermaid Tears. Oh, shit. I am living. I yeah, love this, this color. Really great. Like I love this color. I actually probably would actually wear it with my makeup today. I would actually also too. Most Plus, of these shades I would actually wear with my makeup that I actually bought, and usually that doesn't usually work out. One. Don't know if this is the formula or that my lips hurt. My lips are burning, so no, I think yeah. I, it's definitely that my lips are burning from taking because, like, I'm like liquid lipsticks. I'm, I'm like I don't feel them. <laughs> yeah, no, that's definitely. I don't feel the my lipsticks. lips anymore. Now we both have put. Um, the lipsticks kind of that we're going to be quote-unquote wearing. Um, and we took a bunch of selfies. <laughs> oh, yeah. <we> and, <laughs> so, look on the Instagrams for that. Um, and we're going to be swatching the 24K palette and the, um, violet... What the fuck am I saying? The platinum ice palette alongside the moon child. So first, um, we're actually going to be taking, um, the platinum ice palette, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and we're gonna swatch it. So this is ice cold and it is in Jeffrey's regular collection. Um, it's absolutely stunning. Um, we all know this. So that's Glacier. It's kind of got a silvery kind of a blue undertone to it. More silver than anything. Next we're gonna do Lavender Snow which is also another shade that is also one of Jeffrey's regulars. Um, not as... not getting as much of a pigment. In there but as you can see it's kind of got a purpley kind of a sheen to it these ones all look very similar in this lighting because I mean it is really bright and stuff so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put um, the moon child palette swatches kind of next to them so, so glacier so blue ice is gonna be the closest one to ice cold which obviously as you can tell blue ice has an incredibly blue sheen to it um, it's, th those aren't dupes at all. Um, they're not even close to each other, personally speaking. Next one is Star, which is going to be put next to, um, Glacier. And honestly, you can't tell the difference between them. It's a straight up dupe for them. Um, they're identical. Um, the next one we're doing is going to be Purple Horseshoe, which is a really weird name, personally speaking. And again, um... The biggest difference between these, as you can see, is that the Moonchild palettes are a lot more iridescent-y, less um, glowy. So you can definitely see the differences between these. So I think out of the swatches, these two are the closest, but these one, these two really have no. Mm -hmm. they're, they're not the same at all. So the next one we're going to do is called Alien Ice. Now this is the green shade. Um, so it's got a more of a green sheen to it, I guess, if you want to say. We're going to say sheen. 
Next one we're gonna do is called Pink Chill, which Taylor has already been loving quite a bit. And she's also wearing her cheeks today. Mm -hmm. You can talk too. I absolutely love Pink Chill because I just feel like it's a really good one for like a natural-esque glowy highlight. I feel like it wears very well over the course of the day. Okay, so now this is Canary Bling, and just on my finger, it's stunning. Oh, God. That's so beautiful. Like, look at that. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to go in with first Pink Heart, because that's the one that comes first in the Moonchild palette. And as you can tell, when you put them right next to each other, on camera, they do look a little bit different. This one is a little bit, has more of like a pink peachy. tone, and this, this is a little bit more peachy. This one comes a little bit more pinky purple. This one's like a little bit more peachy pinky. And then the other one we have that actually does have a dupe is going to be Lucky Clover. And this one, again, it pulls a little bit more iridescent less shiny. Still just as pretty, but you definitely see the iridescence in it and less of the sh kind of like the shine or sheen in it. So next what we're going to be swatching is we're going to be swatching the 24 Carat Palette, the Skin Frost one. The first one that I'm going to be swatching is Sarcophagus, which... Oh my god. Holy pretty, shit. but it looks dark on me. Um... Yeah, that's stunning. That's, that's stunning. stunning. Um, I feel yeah. like this is the only one out of the whole thing that I would be able to put on my face. Yeah. The next one is King Tut. <laughs> Again, absolutely stunning. This is on my center of my lid today. Jesus. Next one, which I'm wearing on kind of like the outer edges of my eye, is Dark Horse. Now, this shade is way too dark. Mine. Way too dark for my skin tone or Taylor's, as you can see. But holy shit, the pigmentation in that. I would, but see, I would wear all, both those can, on my lid. Oh, like, yeah. Like, those are both And that's lid really colors. why I got that. This one is called Legendary. It is the pink shade in the palette. <laughs> and it is, it is quite stunning. So the next one is Giza, which I did kind of try as a blush today. Um, and it did work pretty well. It was a little too deep for my skin tone. Um, but if you go really light-handedly, I feel like it does work. Oh, this one's called Liberace. And it's quite the yellow gold. It reminds me of the Fenty Beauty highlighter, except different. It, it doesn't pull as green, and it's not looking as... Jesus. Yeah, so that's the 24 karat palette. Okay, now, personally speaking, I really do, I honestly... So these are pretty close together, but honestly, this is more iridescent, and this is much more, like, glow. And see, and I'm not totally mad that these two are close, because... I use this a lot, but when I don't want to use it is because of the iridescence, and then I have basically this one as an option to get more of that blinding glow. Especially with like that silver one in the Moonchild palette. Oh, if you don't, if you're heavy handed with the silver one in the Moonchild palette, I will go right out there. Oh, excuse me, and say this that it looks like I you smudge gray glitter. Right. And, and this one, I'm wearing Glacier today. Yeah. With pink, um, pink chill over top of it. And, and since like this one's more like of a silvery, like... I feel like it's really nice. It's just really, really, it's really nice. One. The pan sizes now are bigger in this one. I don't have exact pan sizes for you. Um, I don't have my box with me right now. Um, it's 0 0.15 ounces each. Okay, so each of these have 2.24 ounces in here. Um... Each of Jeffrey's highlighters now have five, have um, 15 grams or 0 0.5. So it's about half of what Jeffrey's highlighters have. So it's a deal. Honestly, if you're deep t skin toned, like, holy shit, get this. It's insane. Like, it's gorgeous. Now, I got it because I like the shades in here, and I knew I would use it as kind of like an eyeshadow kind of a palette thing for me. Um, and I'm really glad I did get it because uh, I love what I did with my eyes today. And I did, I was able to use Giza, and I know I'll be able to use Le Legendary as a as a blush. Um, I don't know. These are gorgeous. They retail for $40, which is incredibly reasonable. Mm -hmm. um, you get six shades. Honestly, 110%. Um, this collection is really, really amazing. Go, so Jeffrey. And I know we didn't get... We don't have the lip ammos, but... I mean, the liquid lipsticks alone. But I'm alone. sorry, the liquid lipsticks alone. 
one of these. They're stunning. They're absolutely fucking stunning. So, um, yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, we had a lot of fun with it. Make oh, sure yeah. you check out the Get Ready With Me video we did before this. Um, we just don't put our lipstick on because we were saving our lips for this video. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Make sure you guys check that out. And make sure you check out my social media links. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye!